MCOM, or Emergency Communications, is a big part of the amateur radio experience. Here at Dayton Hamvention, we're going to take a walk down MCOM Row and see some of these uh, excellent uh, vehicles that, that people have put together. About 10 days old technically, so oh, getting okay. back into VHF and up. Okay. We do everything the Coast Guard can do except for direct law enforcement and military operations. Okay. Okay. But still, that entails a lot that, we, that we're involved in. We do communications, we do patrol communications, we handle all the communications from Ohio sector. Boat, like I said, boat safety, vessel inspections. We do required visits through all, all the marina areas and uh, work hand in hand with ODNR okay. for Ohio mm -hmm. with their help. To, you know, we work at the pleasure of ODNR too within the lakes and the inland rules and everything that we have here in Ohio. Converted um, TV newsman. Okay. And we got lucky enough to acquire it, so we just converted the ham radio use. The the basic, you know, bones were already there, and so we just took the TV stuff out, put the you ham, put radio, the ham stuff radio stuff in. What do you got in there? Well, there's a pair of stations. There's a Ken, uh, a uh, Elcraft a K3, and then we went to the left. Okay. The Yaesu, uh, 991A. Okay. We can run two stations. Nice. Uh, right now, one on six and one on twenty. We're both listening to FT8. This is definitely one of the most comfortable vans I've seen. So. <laughs> So um, I've got everything from 80 meters up through nine centimeters. Okay. Which is uh, 3.4 gigs. I've got HF with the, the Tar Heel Model 100, and inside I got I don't know I lose track of it all. An FT450, <laughs> which is HF and six. I got an IC7000, which I use only on 70 centimeters. But that's my backup to my backup six, my backup HF. Mm -hmm. I have an FT736R, which is um, my primary two meter and primary one and a quarter meter antennas. Okay. Or radios, I should say. And then I've got a whole slew of transverters to do uh, 900 megahertz, uh, 902, 1296 megahertz. 2304 megahertz and 3400 megahertz or 3.4 gigahertz. Neat. So, and you see that got amplifiers back there and uh, a flex radio, of course, and a computer console attached to the dash to act as my console for the uh, flex. I use that mostly for microwave bands because uh -huh. of the pan adapter and for frequency stability. Do you run solo usually, or do you have a? It looks like you don't have anybody sitting in the passenger seat. So yeah, pretty much I run solo. I've I've had a, a partner a couple times uh, into our day. Um, okay, but most of it solo. Okay, and I do mostly sideband and CW. I theoretically can do some digital modes, but if I'm moving, I that's not practical. So I just have it CQ and if somebody answers I see it worked I push the button tell it CQ again till it works somebody so the big question is is when you're roving how do you log uh, <laughs> I I have a 
tablet with my own software on it. Okay. So I can. It just takes a couple uh, key presses, and the big thing in roving or in VHF contests, you work somebody on a, a lower frequency band, such as two meters or mm -hmm. six, and then you QSY up through the bands. Okay. So my logging system, I, I have a quick reference of all the calls that I know of. Because there's only a certain, com there's a certain size community within. The yeah, there's, there's always new ones, yeah. but, but the, the, the ones I know, so I can pull those up. But once I've worked them on one band, I have for the last four stations worked a quick uh, ah. reference key. And all I have to do is hit that one, one call sign okay. on that and then hit the band and log it. Okay. And that's it. So when I'm going hopping through, I can walk with four people through the bands and I'll, I'll just have to hit boom, just, boom, boom. Oh, nice. Kinda... So you're not trying to record and transcribe things later or anything like that? I I run a car camera and I try and remember to change out the memory sticks. <laughs> um, it takes three to get through a contest. And I have I do go back. That's my my backup. Your backup log. system. Or okay. If things, if things get too hectic, I I can rely on nice. that. Nice. And because it has a video, I can tell by where I am what part of the contest it is and what time it is. So I can okay. go and look at stuff like that. So. Well, thank you. You're welcome.